Welcome back to Life to the Max. You know, the hospitality house has been here on the north side of Minneapolis for five decades. And look at these faces. These are the faces that represent hope and opportunity and our future, and they also represent fear. That's why the hospitality house is here, to make sure that all of those feelings and all of their needs are met. It sits on the north side of Minneapolis, on the tough side of town. Has been there for 50 years now. Its name is branded in time. Everyone around here knows what it means. The Hospitality House. Say the name and you've said something significant. The Hospitality House to me is probably the only urban youth ministry that, that I am aware of, primarily using education and sports. Uh, you know, I, I see it as, uh, I mean, Hospitality House has been known for its great athletic programs. Uh, almost every great uh, basketball player on the north side has come through Hospitality House. It's a home inside the neighborhoods, a place with a strong reputation. Mike Tate grew up in the area and was an early beneficiary of the Hospitality House's programs. First of all, it introduced me to Christ, but it also introduced me to the north side and Minneapolis, uh, what it meant to me to be a, a north side kid growing up on, on the north side of Minneapolis, um, to interject with others that didn't look like me, that coached me, it made me feel proud. It is that pride that radiates to the people who invest their time and emotion into it, a calling almost to help kids. see Johnny when you see these kids though hope oh yeah yeah hope love you know uh, comfort a lot of kids are scared at the heart of it is the Reverend Johnny Hunter a legendary basketball star in Minneapolis North in the 70s now hindered by a broken ankle but he's still running the place he used to run at a place that used to be driven by sports now has a much broader foundation athletics is it used to be a big part now it's just another part. When I grew up here, uh, athletics was everything. But with our uh, neighborhoods and our uh, community changing so much in the last 20 years, athletics is just uh, uh, really it's like fishing for young men. It's something to draw the kids into the program. They are a group that needs to know that the future can be what they make it. This is the place where the barriers are knocked down, where self-esteem is molded by working with students and encouraging a spiritual fundamental. Because these streets, they can claim, claim young lives rather quickly. The biggest temptation, I believe, is the uh, drugs and alcohol. The, uh, to use or to sell or whatever. To huh? use, yep, yep, exactly, exactly, because it's so in the gangs and that becomes part of the drugs and alcohol and gangs. The young faces just want to know, know that this is their comfort zone. Why do you like coming here? Because we get to learn more and we get to do exercising and we like to, and we have class and I like coming here because we, we get the praying and stuff. And this is the place where they are encouraged to believe there is no ceiling. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, an artist. An artist? Have you been practicing? Yeah, what do you want to do, paint pictures? Like the one right there behind you? And if that doesn't work, I want to be a lawyer or fashion designer. It's an ongoing challenge to keep it running well and to keep engaging outside the city. George Frazier is the director of the board. He grew up with all the materialism known to the suburbs in a private school education, which is almost exactly why he's here. You're a suburban guy raised like a lot of people in Minnesota. How does it make you feel when you see what you were afforded and what these kids are dealing with on this side of town. It's a lot tougher down here. <clears throat> and the resources are fewer and the obstacles are huge. There's a, there's a lot of uh, issues in the inner city. 
Giving this opportunity, my facility and programs have created an energy on the north side. The most important thing is that you get a relationship uh, with Jesus Christ. I mean, it's the spiritual teachings uh, here. So, so kids get a solid foundation, you know, and, and unlike most places, you know, one of the things that I say about Hospitality House, while the community has a lot of churches, most of those churches don't serve the youth of the community. For me, the greatest thing that happens for me is a young man or a young woman to be able to move on off the north side, go to college, and just be successful even when they're struggling in areas of when they can come in here, work through their issues, and be able to start over. That's why it's exciting to see the celebration and the history of five decades and exactly how it's influenced lives. It makes me be proud because now as a person who attended the Hospitality House, now I sit on the board of the Hospitality House. So it makes me feel very, very proud to be a, a member of the Hospitality House. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.